Good morning, fellow punchers and custard lovers. For the couple in Moat, or from Moat, I met at the races yesterday. The clock on the wall says two minutes to nine o'clock on Sunday morning. And back here again in the Sintra and Maxow filling station in on Mugcross Road in Killarney. Here about two quarters of an hour, had my breakfast already, which I've been over a cup of tea. Uh, it's a license to print money here. Absolute gold mine. It's a huge crowd, it's buses pulling in and everything. Um, but, uh, shout out to, I forgot to say this to Anthony McCarthy from Black Stick in Kinsale. He gave me an owner's pass, so I got a free program with that going into the uh, race the other day. He had a horse running, uh, Nelly's money. Um, I forgot. I don't think I said that just to get a chance to listen back to the thing. And uh, shout out to the six lads from Mallow yesterday. One was from Sligo actually, and one from Belfast. I didn't, my glasses was off putting. They said I had those ones on instead of these ones. But then a few looks at me and he was sized me up and they made chat also to. Liam and Marie O'Keefe from Middleton um, and there was a few more as well that I didn't, I forget their names, I forgot to write them down at the time. Great crowd just to that, made money in Killarney at four winners and I should have had a fifth, the one that fell uh, at, or didn't fall, well stumbled after jumping the last and uh, I had a Trixie with uh, Ziggy, I couldn't believe in a two horse race that went off even money. Um, Stealthy Tom and Captain Conboy. It was 5 to 2 yesterday morning as well. Uh, I got the first one when I went in at 11 to 8 and brought 4 to 7. Um, York was the sort of the disaster day yesterday. I backed Sacred, I backed Sweet William, and I backed um, Lordship. Uh, Sweet William, I thought, was going to win it, and above all, who was to, to, to nail us? more than Spencer, frankly. Can't get him right at all. <coughs> but um, the fact that I had won two races as far as similar to Aramac and Lordship means that we're still ahead of the game with those three horses. I'd be forgetting about Aramac, a bit highly handicapped now, forgetting about um, Sacred. And there's one more gone off the list as well. There'd be plenty of Porto drank, but there'd be no more Porto. The horse. Um, Orazio didn't run, and uh, though the legend was a bit disappointed, I still didn't see, I only seen the result of that, I didn't see what happened. But I had a good winner in Astro King as well. Uh, so, not a bad day, all told. Um, today, I have three, and the reason I said I'd do a video, the chance there, I probably won't get one tonight or tomorrow morning, so I'll, if I fancy after for tomorrow, I'll add them up in the description tonight. I was out last night, I had three pints in... Uh, Scots, great porter, and I got my first ever carry club GA matches to leave went out to Fireys in Farnford. Uh, 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 there was a junior A championship match between Fireys and the Stowell. The Stowell won it in the last seconds with the last kick of the game from David Keane, the corner for. I think he got seven points in total this evening. So, probably the better team, all right. I, uh, even the home side got a softish enough goal and uh, keen mission easier free in the first half as well. I thought the standard might have been a bit higher, as I expected a bit higher for Kerry, because Kerry people always say that their football is the best. Me being a junior manager of the club for five years there, I was. Now, we wouldn't be, if that would be their top team, it would be our second team. So uh, I thought with their top teams that might have been a bit better, but not too bad. There's a few good footballers, I'm sure. And I had uh, met a couple of family store, Liz and Tony, then afterwards for a chat. And uh, Pines and Bed Airy. Well, they've been on half time. So, heading out of Dodge today, I might head up Galway direction. Um, I'll put into some town in Galway tonight for Pines. Three horses for today. The first one is the probably the best bet of the day is uh, Gatekeeper. Uh, back on the surface and distance that it ran well in the celebration mile. Here he's coming with the orange cap on the outside. 
And out wide the Wizard of Light Darkness is claimed now by Johan. Johan on the outside of Darkness. In fact, they go head and head. Here's the gatekeeper rallying in third from Dutch Decoy. And Sonny Liston race up towards the line. And Johan taking it up under James Doyle. The gatekeeper is fighting back on the near side. But Johan first run for Jack Cannon and wins. The he ran the other day in, in uh, York, which was on good to current. So I throw out that. I don't mind uh, that he ran only two days ago. Johnson's horses are tough. It was 4-1 uh, last night, I think. So that the race the other day, he was 10th and 19, but he's only beaten 4.5 lengths, but that wasn't good to turn. <coughs> Looks to be better at cutting the ground. It's soft today. I'd expect him to go close. <coughs> um, there's one at Yarmouth in each way, but uh, the three-year-old I'm not sure what to make was last run, whether it was a soft ground or what, in Doncaster, Jeff Coons. I thought uh, Royal Symbol has a solid each way bet of 5 to 1. Buick nearly batting 30% the last fortnight, and your man uh, after the goal, all right. There's only three lifetime runs. One ran, ran once only in nine, or 2021, twice this year. And it just seemed to tire the last two like a fitness, I thought, in uh, New America. The run should bring him on. Uh, that's uh, an each way bet. And then there's one in Nays. There's a 27 runner handicap there. Uh, they're the ones most people don't tackle, but I don't mind if I have an angle. I think there's an angle there with Universal. Uh, Colin, uh, Chris here is riding for the first time. If you look at it, it was running in. France there in 2022, but he came to the 1st of June to Ireland, rated 68, which is down 12 pounds and he ran very well the last time. Ran a bit, uh, sort of, veered right and left and went off the two line. He was put up 5 pounds for that, but he was a good bit back to the 4. This is him coming on the right hand side. And Nordic Passage is coming there in the middle of the track to pick it up. From step back in time, the organizers running on strongly with Universally, who blew the start on the outside. A gap then to Teddy Boyd, Nordic Passage, and the organizer as they run up towards the finish. Not much between the stable companions. As they dip their heads, it is the organizer and Nordic Passage on the outside was Universally. I should only learn in the job, so I thought that had a chance today. There's a nice race today is the Valley Ogan Stakes, Phillies and Mayors Group 3. It looks on the ratings between uh, the two oceans, Ocean Jewel and Quest. Ocean Quest probably is the better form. If you could guess, uh, without the two, uh, Ocean Jewel and Ocean Quest, have a pound on Aussie Girl. They were lucky to have to back on the last time. And uh, they're. It's 30 days actually for a place as well, the first three. Uh, that's me done and dusted. So, time to get out of Killarney. I might uh, go to feed the ducks out at uh, Ross Castle. It's one of the last two days, so I might as well do it for the third day. I've half a loaf of bread left for them. Catch the bookies over and out.